Welcome back to episode 8, everyone. Um, I believe... I believe today we're gonna do some exploring over this way. I want to see what is in these holes. This one particularly. Wait a minute. Somebody's been down in there. I see torches and I did not place torches in there. Oh boy. Somebody knows of this area. This might be war. Um, let's run in quick and get this guy. Yeah! Let's see what kind of goodies. Very nice, very nice. Alright, well like I said, obviously somebody knows this exists. Because they've been in here. Lighten it up for us. Fortunately, they didn't grab all the resources. So, I'm going to do that right now. And if whoever did this is watching, you know what? Tough luck, man. Tough luck. You got to grab the resources while you can. You know, this is, this is how we play. I need resources, as obviously do you. Again, assuming that the person who's doing this is playing. Or is watching, rather. Obviously, they're playing. It wouldn't be here if they weren't. Shift jump. I love shift jump. It's so useful. It's super dark in here, though. Am I literally down to my last torch? Oh, man. I am. Fortunately, I have a little bit of wood here. Get myself some new torches. Like, these walls are so dark. I feel like I'm going to run right into somebody's house. Or something. Some kind of elaborate lava trap. Because that's what I would do. I would build elaborate lava traps. So people who come snooping around to mine materials would get caught. And ultimately, uh, yeah, probably die. I guess, you know what? I should turn the mini-map on. Because I usually play with that. And that'll at least let me know if there's another player nearby. So I'll see the little red dot. And then, I will know... Um, yeah, that there's a player around. No idea who it would be. But I will just have to keep my eye open and be ready to whip out a sword at a moment's notice. A little bit of iron, some more iron. Man, this is actually a really good cave for resources. So glad somebody else decided to go through and put in torches for me. So nice of them. I'm just curious as to where this goes. How did they get in? Like, I mean, obviously they didn't get through from my cave. Because... Well, I guess they could have. Because I don't have steel doors. So there's nothing preventing somebody from just walking right through the smack dab middle of my house. But, at the same token, I don't know how they would have gotten into that cave. I don't even remember how to get into it. Which is kind of a problem. Because I really don't know how to get back to the ground. Had to swim up through some underground stream last time. Which was not an issue at all. Just saying, that's how I had to do it. Okay, so it looks like, so ooh, there's some kind of an ore there. Very nice, copper it looks like. Copper is super important. And pickaxe goes bye-bye. Oh, and there's something else's. 
Um, I'm going to have to make a stone one just for temporary, like 12 iron and 7 copper. It's not bad. Could be better, but not horrible. Okay, where is my house? There we go. Home sweet cave. Let's figure out how to get there. Um, yeah, let's try this. Yeah, there we go. Almost there. Woohoo! All right, well, that was a most beneficial little trip. What about this? Nope, that doesn't go to anything. What about this way? Was there a cave system here that I was that I was missing? I don't think so, but Oh yes there is. Always wanna be oh. It doesn't go anywhere though. Or does it? No, it doesn't. Maybe up higher it goes? I don't think so. Okay, well. Well, well, well. Let's go process up some nodes. What do we have to cook? Iron in the furnace. Throw some coal in there. Copper I will keep in my bag. I'll throw the messy crystal in there. In the crystal fragments. Tin lump I feel like I had tin lump somewhere else already but maybe not throw that in there uh let's see i was just in that bag a stone sword useless some apples that'll work chomp 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 very good i got 27 wood so that's enough wood to Keep me supplied with stuff for a while. There is something outside my door. I think it's a dragon. I could be wrong, but I think that's a dragon. Oh yeah, its head just went through the wall. That is totally a dragon. Do I want to go fight it? Man, I don't know. I feel like I'll probably die. At the same time, I don't think it'll fit through the door. Oh, perfect. <laughs> All because of a glitch. I have no idea what these guys drop. I don't remember. Two messy crystal fragments. Really? That's all? That's it? I risk my life to kill a dragon and I get... Two messy crystal fra... What in the... Whoa, 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 what is this? What is... What is going on here? Now I'm freaking out. Okay. I don't see anything that looks like anybody's living here. It looks all pretty empty, deserted, abandoned. Of course, I guess I did pretty much leave a path straight to where I am with all these torches. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's something there. I can't tell what it is, though. Let me light this up. I can't tell if that's a dragon stuck in a wall. Looks like it is. Well, I'm not going to worry about that. It's obviously not attacking me, so I think I'm okay here. going to grab this copper real quick. Darkness. I don't really care for darkness. You don't know what's in it. Until it's too late. And there's something jumping on you. 
and then it eats you alive. Obviously, because you were, you know, alive when it jumped on you. And then you die. Because obviously, when you get eaten, you die. And then, uh, yeah, then just bad things happen, basically. Okay, I don't... Somebody obviously found my house. That goes without saying. And I guess they decided to throw some pillars around my door? Out of wood. I... Did they just not realize it was a protected area? Because right there it isn't? And they were going to take it for themselves? That doesn't make sense, though, because why wouldn't they have just pulled those pillars down? Oh, it's water. I thought for a second there was... Yeah, it's totes a dragon stuck there. I thought for a second that blue was some kind of a mob. I was like, what is this? I don't remember seeing blue monsters before. All right, well, on the path back to home. Um, let's see, we go on this. Up through her. There's another dragon stuck on a wall. Man, whoever did that spawning code did a horrible job. Dragons getting stuck in walls. I mean, like, come on, bunch of amateurs. I was the one who did the code, by the way. So don't feel like I am ripping on somebody unfairly or anything. I'm just making fun of myself. It's really not even my fault. It's more of just an engine thing. Okay, well, we got some more goodies there. That's good. Don't know what we'll ever use that for. Don't know what we'll ever use that for. Let's take a look at what we're going to need for these low-voltage machines that we need to start with. Um, first and foremost, I will need a fuel flare generator to make some electricity. I'll need a furnace. It's easy enough. Cable. I'm going to need paper for it. That means I'm going to need papyrus. Okay. Cast iron and brass. Copper and zinc. It's so hard to get started in Technic stuff here. Okay, and then cast iron is... You have to alloy that too. So how do I alloy stuff to build this? That isn't... Oh, wait, you don't have to. You can cook raw iron ingots to get cat. Oh, yeah, I remember that now. Okay, so I need paper. <sighs> what was that? I don't remember putting that sound onto any mobs. Well, nothing there. Dude, I tell you, this... I don't see anything. Like, that was legit. Some kind of a monster grunting. I mean, I don't care what you say. That was for sure... That was for sure a monster. Like, an ogre or something, but I don't... I don't see anything here. Theoretically, in my castle, I am safe. Nothing can get to me. We're about 15 minutes. Do I want to try to venture to the surface? I really just need a faster way out is what I need to do. Oh! Oh! almost walked right into the mouth of a dragon. Oh! Wow. I think I'll use this exit. No dragon on this side. Not yet, anyways. Okay, to get out. I should just make, like, a pathway going up is what I should do. So, somebody made this little thingamabob here. And I got a vine right here. So I feel like... I could maybe use this vine somehow. Do you even get vines when you dig them? I don't think you do. No. 
Okay, so that's pretty much a useless idea. What about rope? Do we have rope on the server? For as much work as I did setting it up, you'd think I would know. We do. Excellent. So I need jungle vines and a piece of wood, and then I can do a rope and just run all the way down. Of course, in order to get to that point, I'm going to have to make a stairway out first. Which, what am I, what am I doing here? To do a stairway out, you know, let's just we'll do that and then do this. So we got a step. That'll be a step. I have to clear that and this. Evidently, there was some type of ore right in there, so that is cool. And then we need to clear that one. Oh, some more ores. Excellent. Do that. This one, this one, this one. I honestly have no idea how deep underground I am. So this could be a process that takes a while. Furthermore, if this is a below somebody's house or area that is protected, um, yeah, I could end up digging nearly to the surface and then hitting a protected area and pretty much being stuck. And there is some sort of a cave that I'm going to bump into here. Which, you know what? That is... That is cool. That's fine. Oh. Connects back to a... Another half of my cave system. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. We'll just, uh... You know what? We'll turn here and we'll make another flight going up. Is what we'll do. So we'll have that. And then we will go up here, throw a light up in there, oh, you know what, I messed up, oh, well, I'll do, we'll do that, that works, and then right here, I really have no idea how deep I am, this might be something that takes a while to do, and by a while, I mean like a long while. Probably I'll end up hitting the ground. It'll be nighttime, of course. And they'll be, oh, I don't know. I'll be in the middle of some orc infested field or something. <sighs> Fates. Oh no, I don't have any more wood with me, do I? <sighs> I think I left all my wood in the chest. Like an idiot. I think I left it in the chest. Yup, ooh. But I got a stone pickaxe with a little bit of life left. We'll see how far that gets us. I'm sure not far. Definitely sure not to the point where I can get out. But we'll do what we can. And probably when this goes kaput. We'll just call it a day. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Thanks for watching my video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would you consider giving it a thumbs up? I appreciate all those I can get. I'm on social media, peoples. Follow me. Google+, Twitter, Facebook. I always post all of my videos on those platforms, or links to my videos on those platforms, as soon as they go live. Which this means prior to the release on YouTube. You can watch them before anybody else. You can also visit my website, NathanSalpat.com and see all my videos there. Really nice website if I do say so myself. I did design it so I might be a little bit biased, but I still think it's it's decent. If there is a mod you would like me to review, just click on the request review button right there. Takes a two form on my website. You just type in the information, hit the submit button. I get it. I look at it. Record a review. Post it online. You watch. We all profit. The world's a better place. Yeah, I don't know about that last bit. But, hey, do it anyways. There's You got nothing to lose. I'll catch you next time.